prosperous city and home of the Buttonville Button Factory. Today, it exists as a sleepy town, a shadow of its former glory, filled with closed businesses and a quiet retirement community. But it is also home to mystery. mystery. It is here where we find overwhelming evidence to the existence of one of mankind's most fascinating mysteries. The Sasquatch. Who are Pearl Petal and Ben Silverstein? What is their connection to this mysterious man? Is there evidence to the existence of dragons? And what caused this sudden strange phenomenon of stampeding squirrels? Join your hosts, Suzanne Selfers and Dan Santa, on a fascinating journey as they explore the Sasquatch Escape.
Games are fun! Why Kyle would rather play a video game than work on some essay contest? Until he found out, first prize meant 1. Meeting the most weirdly brilliant game maker around, 2. Winning $500 worth of games, 3. Oh yeah, being the first to see the new library. Apparently, eccentric Mr. Lemoncello donated a bazillion dollars to create a wondrous, amazingly incredible library. Now Kyle is desperately trying to win this contest. What he doesn't know is once the 12 winners get locked into the library, they will have to puzzle their way out. Just when you think you know everything about Martin Luther King Jr. and the March on Washington, you kind of come across a book called What Was the March on Washington? And it's fascinating, full of facts. Even if you don't like informational books, it's so interesting. You have to read this. 
Did you know that one New York church packed up 80,000 cheese sandwiches, apples, and slices of marble cake for the marchers? This was an amazing experience to read, and all of this happened without the internet, computers, um, phones, and so on. It was quite a, a read, and I hope you'll try what was the March on Washington.